Well, hello, my friends. Uh, super happy to be here with you and also very excited to be here with my good friend, Beth English. A day before, you know, the Christmas time here. <laughs> so very happy to be with you, Beth. How are you? Great. It came here fast. I feel like one minute it was it was summer and now it's Christmas. <laughs> That's good. I know. It's totally <laughs> crazy. And today, my friends, we're going to talk about avoiding overwhelm in 2021. Because I don't know about you, but this year we all can agree there's been a crazy year. And as we get also to the holidays, end of the year, you know, and, and also as you look forward to the next year, uh, it's, there's like certain pressure that you maybe you've been carrying out throughout the year. So I want to share with you like the four R's, mm. like four R's that I think about, you know, when I want to start the year and prepare myself for that. And also it's a good time for me to do this because we just finished last week the uh, goal setting uh, bootcamp, which was amazing. But I have to tell you, you know, we had so many artists from around the world. So everybody working on their goals. So not like, okay, now we got the goals. Now let's, uh, let's prepare mentally too for that. So that's the topic. <laughs> that's great. I think you're definitely feeling the pulse of what we're experiencing. And so I'm ready to hear these tips. The, I got the my four pen. Four R's. Ready. Yeah, I call them the four, four R's. R's. <laughs> the four R's. All right. So the first R that I want to share with you, my friend, as you begin 2021 or get ready to begin 2021 to avoid some of the pressures, overwhelm that we have all been carrying is take time to reflect. I think it's a good idea to reflect, figure out where are we right now. I always kind of say, you know, as I'm coaching other artists, you know, where are you right now in the world, uh, who you are as an artist, and why you have. You know, look at all those three things, who you are, what you have, and where you are, and, uh, you know, kind of a self-assessment, self-awareness of our environment is a good thing to do before we start kind of going and moving crazy. Kind of take a look, do a 360 view right of everything that's around you the good and the bad and it's a mm -hmm. great place to start so that's my first art reflect i don't know um uh, do you do something like that too? i'm sure you do a uh, bit like every day <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> reflection is such an important part of the process of, mm -hmm. of growing and developing and moving into wherever you're, whatever direction you're going and i think it's really a smart practice to mm -hmm. be in reflection so that you're yeah. it's like you're you know, making your sales just push you wherever you need to go. And it's just going to keep you on that path, I think. Is yeah, perfect. totally. Absolutely. So the first one, first art is reflect. Again, second one to avoiding overwhelm will be mm -hmm. to recalibrate, you know, recalibrate. Once you have assessed your 360, you know where you are, who you are and what you have. Then also start recalibrating, which in other words, I just start 2021 doesn't mean that we start blank. We actually, we right. bring and we carry everything, all the emotions, mm -hmm. all the knowledge, all the pain that we carry from the year before. But as we gear to a new year, it's a good time to also to recalibrate, right? What things I'm going to continue doing, what things I'm not going to continue doing, you know, what things I may continue to do, but differently. So, you know, those are the three options for everything we do. So I think, you know, fine tuning, recalibrating, mm -hmm. you know, tightening up the nuts on the areas that are necessary, I think is super important. That's my second one, recalibrate. How you you like got it? this. <laughs> I've been thinking about these four hours. <laughs> I'm ready to hear the third and fourth one because I'm like, yeah, this is all good stuff. <laughs> awesome. So after you reflect, after you recalibrate, the third R is to actually take some time to rest. Mm. So important. Um, and that's one that's the hardest one for me because also you who know me, I'm a workaholic. <laughs> you can just ask my wife and my kids. They had to remind me when it's time to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I think that one for me is something that I have to consciously, you know, stop and say, okay, I need to enjoy, I need to rest. So I'm giving myself some time between the end of the year and the new one to take some time off. Also from my socials, you know, no, I'm not going to lose my audience because I take some time off or things like that. Just kind of get off the grid for a little bit, enjoy you know, my family, my friends, and, uh, and just reset my mind as I start the new year. Yeah, I agree. You need to rest because you are like, you are killing it online. You're always posting. I know, I don't see how you do it, honestly. And I feel like I'm the queen of rest. Like I'm all about resting and giving being balanced. And... But you help me to do that like, when I come to these <laughs> Wednesday meetings, like, okay, I need to, I need to enjoy it a little bit. <laughs> I know we were like taking some deep breaths just right when we got on the line to record yeah. this just to get ready. So yeah, I and, can't and so wait to see what happens when you rest. Thank you, Ben. And actually, you know, on, on a serious note on that one, you know, it, it has really inspired me when you, for you, as you move this year, your lifestyle from being in the city now to being, um, you know, south of the country and uh, 
totally different atmosphere and now you're in the middle of nature. So, you know, when I see one of your posts on Instagram or a, or a story that you created with, you know, beautiful water drops, you know, it's like, oh, you know, it makes me breathe and <sighs> stop and, and rest, you know, even mentally for a couple, a few seconds. So, you know, I have to thank you for that, uh, Beth, because sometimes, you know, uh, we need that reminder. Good, good, good. And I'm glad that helps. Yes. And so that's the, that's the third one, right? Reflect, re, uh, well, recalibrate, rest. And the last one, but not least one, is also take time to replenish, to mm. replenish. And replenish is, not, is different as resting. Resting is just taking it back, taking it back. Seat. But replenish is like when you are replenishing the pump, right? Mm. Okay, like you are charging it. What is it that you need to do as an artist that will recharge that? And that was going to be totally different from everyone because what recharges me might be different what recharges Beth or you, my friend, who are watching right now. What is the one thing that is not making art or that's not art related that can replenish your soul, your mind, you know, your life, your energy? What is that activity? For some, it might be like a walk in the park or, you know, if you're in the inner city, you know, you know, just maybe a, a call with friends. Or this might be picking that book that you wanted to get to in 2020, just never got to picking that up and reading it. Or, um, you know, whatever it may be, right, that, that can help you replenish the pump so that when you start 2020, you don't feel that drag of that big weight that still may still be, uh, you know, lingering around with you throughout the year. So uh, what are some of the things that you do, uh, Beth, to replenish? That's funny. I was just thinking about this this morning because I think when we feel heaviness, mm -hmm. it's really important that we ask ourselves, how am I loving myself really well? Mm -hmm. And I know for me, cooking really good foods that are healthy, uh -huh. that taste amazing, like made from scratch. Like I love to feed myself. That makes me feel so good when I'm eating. It's so delicious. And I'm getting feeling energy from the food and I'm feeling happiness from the flavors. Like it's this whole experience. And so that's something I do um, a lot to kind of love myself to feel that rest and that re you know, it's just all part of the process. I think when we're yeah. taking a step back to say, how do I want to move forward in right. the future? Exactly. And there's everything that we do is like not one thing or the other. It's like, how are we incorporating all of these ideas into our everyday life and all of our activities? Because they all impact us no matter what we do. Like, do you listen to music in the shower? Do you sing in the right. shower? Like, or are you totally silent? I think every, every little detail of our life, we can take a look at and say, is this making me feel energized and loved and joyful? So mm -hmm. that's actually what our video is going to be about next week. So. Oh, super. So my friend, <laughs> that would be the last one of the year. So I think it's a great follow-up to this one as we continue that conversation as yeah. we begin all 2021 brand new. So uh, yeah, totally. Uh, for me, like replenishing, something that I discovered now that my kids are older, you know, you also relate to them differently than when they were smaller. So my son, he's now... 20 years old so he has also new ideas new things and so uh my relationship with him is different now you know he purchased his first card this fall so we actually having a great time just taking a ride where we're just chatting mm -hmm. and we're driving talking about cars and stuff like that so that for me is something new right which is replenishing me and i hope it replenishes him as well so i'm looking forward to do maybe a little bit of that uh with him over the break that will help me again get back to get back to the art business and get back to work in 2021 so I know you're going to do awesome. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And likewise, so my friends, we are wrapping it up. And as a summary, uh, to avoid overwhelm in 2021, four things you can do, or they all start with the letter R, reflect, recalibrate, rest, and replenish, something that you can do. And if you enjoyed this episode, please share it with all your friends, because I think we can all use a little bit of that. So my friends, uh, you can find both uh, Beth and I online. So Beth, where can they find you first? You guys can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Beth English, and you can check out my website at BethEnglish.com. Super. And you can find me also online at Sergio Gomez Art and on my website at SergioGomezOnline.com. And as usually, we are happy to be here with you. Like every Wednesday, we show up. We've been showing up uh, right before the pandemic started, so nonstop. And we continue also uh, with that commitment as we move into 2021. So... Great to see you, Beth, as well. I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.